It is about day five, I would say, on Easter Island. We went uh, ashore the last two days and we just partied our asses off with uh, people we met and other cruisers. So <laughs> today we're actually gonna start being serious again and um, we, we edited today a bunch and uh, now we're about to go spearfishing by the rocks at the end of the anchorage, starting to explore Easter Island because for now we really just explored the bars, which was fun, but you know. <laughs> That's not the reason we came. That's not starting to do a thing? <laughs> I'm looking for sand. Everything's a little, a, a little bit more difficult on this island, even tying up your dinghy. So I ended up putting a stern anchor out, having the other end of the stern anchor be our painter because our painter's not long enough to go up to one of these things. And then I got in his dinghy to get onto shore. And I, if we come back and his dinghy's not here, I'm gonna have to get in the water. <laughs> but that's part of the adventure. This is a cool place. This is actually the easier anchorage than the other one. There's a lot of surf today. The waves are pretty big. It's really pretty to watch them here, but this is Vipanu. This is the other side of the island. Vinapu. This is Vinapu. This is the other side of the island. This is actually the easier anchorage than the other one. We know people that have flipped on the other anchorage. The bad part about this anchorage is that it's quite away from a ways from town. It takes us like 15 minutes to get up the hill, well, maybe 10 on a good day. But from there on, we have to hitchhike away into Hangaroa, the other anchorage and the only town on this island. So let's see whether we're gonna be lucky or no. 
Oh, well then we have to walk all the way. It's pretty here though. I'm glad we're not in Hangaroa because Hangaroa is just the entrance into the into the harbor there where you have to park the dinghy. It's just brutal. So explain to the viewers at home what's behind you and what we just did. This is the Armada. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just dropped by the Armada um, to help some fellow cruisers that just arrived yesterday night here on uh, Easter Island. We went over there, brought them some fresh... <laughs> like that's the part, Captain. <laughs> is he, did he just leave to go over there, you think? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and as small as scooter is <laughs> in his uniform, that's funny. Okay, so we just talked to the park captain because people arrived yesterday and they don't have any food anymore and from the anchorage that we have to be um, due to the conditions, the wind is coming, the wind is making this anchorage here unattainable. So from the anchorage we're at right now, if you still can follow me, it's impossible to make radio contact with the Armada, which is on this side of the island, right behind me. So we just dropped in there and told him that a boat is waiting and they don't have any food anymore, blah, 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 blah. So he's gonna drive up to the hill in front of the anchorage that we're at with the boat right now to make radio contact with the new boat so that they can figure out what to do next. Because this, as I said already, this, um, you can't even land your dinghy here right now. The port captain closed the port so nobody can go in or out due to the tide. I just bought my I just bought shoes for the first time in um how? I don't even remember. Two years. Two years for sure, more than that though. And um the yeah, Buchenstuck. It was worth the waiting. <laughs> be beautiful but we're not here for sightseeing right now that's we're gonna do that in another episode the next stop right now the fruit vendors We got everything we needed. Wine, milk, vegetables, a little bit of um, charcoal for the grill. And now we're gonna hitchhike back. And we're not really sure exactly what street to take, so we're just gonna take one of them and flag someone down and say, hey, is this the way to Vipanu? Maybe they can give us a ride. Vinapu. Vinapu. We just got a ride from a friend that saw us on the road and uh, she was going to the airport so we got about halfway home. So this is the airport, they get one flight a day in here, in and out, and uh, NASA came in in the, in the 70s, the 80s, and they extended the runway to be an alternate landing site for the space shuttles. And the, the locals told us that they brought with them a lot of country music, so country music is actually really prevalent with uh, the last generation and this generation really likes it too so they like Bob Seeger and Garth Brooks and it's kind of cool Hola. that was that that lady that picked us up the, Anna? yeah sweetheart we know the whole island already the chick that 
just picked us up uh, was a friend of a friend too. Yeah. This is our friend we were just talking about. We got picked up by the two friends. <laughs> it's a small island after all. Yeah, we know everybody now because we've been hitching. So that little sailboat out there is our friends from Moody Finn. And they just left for Pitcairn. We just missed them. So this whole thing took us probably two hours to go in, go get food, and now the, the sea is a little bit more calm. It really changes fast here. But uh, we're about ready to go out, get on our boat, and go up to Anacana, so let's go. Let's see whether the dinghy is still there. That was pretty rough earlier. Yeah, it's rough. So now that the tide's gone down, I'm gonna have to jump into the dinghy because the stern anchor's on it and I have nowhere else to go. I could try to climb down over there, but there's a lot of sea urchins on that rock and I don't wanna like lose my balance and get a sea urchin in the butt. Okay. Fair enough. Ha-ha! <laughs> So the wind shifted almost 180 degrees last night and now we're on a lee shore which means our back is to the, to the shore. If something breaks, we're gonna be on the rocks. And we don't want that. Also, you don't get any wind shadow from the island. So we're just gonna go to the other side, to the northern side, where we know that there's a really special place with 15 moai and uh, this is our opportunity to go. So we're gonna raise the sails and get the hell out of here. That's the first time uh, since we left Ecuador that these food nets are actually full again. There's some lime and stuff, tomatoes. What else is going on is we're making some water right now. It was our Spectra water maker. Sponsored, sponsored. Um, really cool. We're doing it off solar because the sun has been shining today. Uh, we're gonna move to Anakina in a second. Turn on the engines and um, yeah, let's see what we can see there. Yeah, I don't think that's the anchorage with the Moai though. I thought it was, but I don't think it is. We're about to find out. <laughs> We're about to find out. We made it just before sunset. Uh, we had a little trouble anchoring because there's not a lot of sand except kind of close. So we, we checked out in, in close, we checked out way far and we wanted to make sure we weren't gonna hit that boat right there. But our swing radius is pretty shallow now because we're only in about 20 feet of water. Everywhere else we've been on Easter Island, we've been in 60 feet of water. So it's nice just to have my chain out and not to have to worry about it and there's no coral underneath us. I dove. I was actually dragging behind the boat looking at the bottom. Maybe we'll do a video about that to show you kind of how we do that. But look at this place, it's cool. There's a bunch of moai here. 